In this video, I will walk you through how to create a simple uh, WCF service using Visual Studio 2012. To begin, let's create a new project. And let's uh, grab the web type and say WCF. And uh, we will create a WCF service application. Uh, we'll call let's call this service uh, math service one. And uh, I will create this in a folder called projects WCF. This will give us a basic WCF uh, service application template. So uh, here we have two files that are important to our service. The first one being um, the, uh, the service one dot SVC, and the other one is the iService one dot CS. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add another service, new item. And call this uh, WCF uh, WCF service, and we'll call this uh, math service. And um, so this is uh, my new service that I just created right here. And I don't really need the uh, service one, so I'm going to delete that. So I also don't need this guy here, so I'm going to delete that as well. So here we are with a clean canvas here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, create a simple uh, uh, multiplica uh, uh, multiplication, addition, subtraction, and division uh, service. So here I'm going to uh, specify the return type as integer 32 and I'm going to call this um, add. So um, let's copy this a couple more times. Uh, and I'll call this uh, subtract multiply and uh, divide. So um, this is these are the uh, basic operations that I. Um, want to provide for my service. So here I'm just going to copy this over and let's remove the attributes because we don't need that and uh, the semicolon and uh, let's make these uh, functions. Okay, so um, those are my basic functions. And here, of course, I need to have two numbers. So, uh, integer 32, I'm going to call this um, number 1, integer 32, number 2. I'm going to do the same for all the other ones. Let's go over and actually match 
these parameters on this function right here. So um, all I have to now do is return number one plus number two. And here I need to return number one minus number two. And in the interest of time, multiply and divide. Multiply and divide. Okay. So this is pretty much our service here. Um, so let's create an application that will actually consume our service here. So uh, first, before we do that, let's uh, get rid of this disclaimer up here. We don't need that. So um, and neither do we need this guy right here. All right, so let's uh, build solution to uh, make sure that it runs correctly and it does not. So what is the problem here? Ah, so the only thing that we forgot here is to make these public. So uh, let's make them public. So uh, rebuild. Let's see if it goes away, and it does. Successful. Okay, great. So uh, the next thing I'm going to add is I'm going to add a uh, new project. I'm going to add a Windows application, Windows form application to be exact, and I'm going to call this uh, Math Service Test App One. So uh, let's uh, add some controls on here. Um, so in the interest of time, I'm going to drag and drop two text boxes. And two labels. And we will call these um, number one and number two. And we will call the text box txt num1 and txt num2. And I'm also going to um, drag a combo box here. And under items, and actually under collection, and items collection right here, I'm going to say add sub. So Tract uh, multiply and divide. Okay, and um, we also need a button. call this btn calc and we will give it a label calculate okay so we'll call this combo cbo um, action type or right, let's call it cbo operation so here we now have 
a whole bunch of if statements if we want. So you can say if um, CBO operation dot text equals to add else if CBO operation dot text equals to subtract else if CBO operation dot text equal to multiply else well we don't really need anything else else uh, let's just say else um, alright so here we now need to add a reference uh, here Let's set our um, application, uh, the test application, as a uh, startup project. And let's add a reference here to a service. And I'm just going to hit discover here just so that it detects our math service right here. All right, so it detected it, and uh, we'll just call this math service. Math service uh, one, and say okay. Okay. So uh, now we have a uh, reference to our service called Math Service One. So let's add a reference up here using uh, Math Test App One dot Math Service One, which will give us a reference to our uh, service. So let's create a client here, Math Service uh, Client. I'll just call that Hello Client equals to new math service client. Okay, so if the operation text is add, then um, we will do something here. So let's also add another um, text box here and call it, uh, well, we can add it down here and we will call that result. Uh, so um, txt result so that we can put the result of our operation in it. So, um, so over here if the operation type is add then I'm going to use the uh, client object dot add and I'm going to say um, convert. Well, actually, let's let's keep it a little bit cleaner than this. Let's uh, let's first um, create two uh, uh, numbers. Hello, integer thirty-two. Hello, num one equals to zero. Integer thirty-two. Hello, num two equals to zero. And well, actually, instead of doing that, let's do convert dot to integer thirty-two txt number one dot text dot trim. Well, and the same for this guy here, and we'll call this number two. So now we've got the two numbers. Uh, we've read them in from the text box. So uh, txt result dot text equals to hello client dot add, and this is hello num one dot num comma hello num 
two comma. Okay. And um, we'll say dot two string so that we can uh, display it. Okay. And really, the rest of these guys will do the same thing except um, this guy here will be doing subtract. This guy here will be doing multiply and this guy here will be doing divide so here we are all right so let's put a um, um, breakpoint here and run it to see what we get okay so here is our uh, application I'm going to say uh, 10 for the first number and um, 5 for the second number and I'm going to say add and I'm going to say calculate here so it'll go through and it'll, if we step through here so now we've got 10 for number 1 two, uh, 5 for number 2 and it was an add operation so it goes in this node here and I'm gonna hit F11 to step through um, to the actual service and here it will take number one and number two and it returns the result to me and um, that's really it it exits then and it gives us the result down here so the exact same thing would uh, be true for any of the other uh, service calls. For example, if I subtract, now it will go through and it will subtract and it will give us the result of 5. And if I multiply again, it gives us 50 now and if we divide it will give us 2 now of course I haven't added any validations yet but this is the basics um, of how to create a WCF service so uh, let's review this one more time and what we did so first we um, in the interface we created a whole bunch of operation contracts with the return type and, and this is an, an actual interface so all you have to specify is the return type, the name of the method and the parameters that will be passed in and here um, we created those um, methods and exposed them publicly so that we can perform the operations and in our test application we reference the service and we uh, first of all we uh, referenced it uh, added a using statement and then we created a client and consume the service and obtain the result. I hope you found this uh, tutorial useful. Um, stay t uh, please uh, subscribe and uh, leave any comments you may have and uh, stay tuned for part two. Thank you.